Gaten Mackenzie versus Julius Malema. Now, Julius Malema, uh, did n- I don't remember Julius Malema attacking Gaten Mackenzie. I don't. Uh, I'm not saying it did not happen. The key word there being remember. I don't remember Malema attacking Julius Malema. I mean, sorry, uh, Malema attacking Gaten Mackenzie. But I do remember Julius Malema speaking about the fact that the GNU will not gonna last, which Gaten McKenzie is not the GNU, but rather is part and parcel of the GNU. So Gaten McKenzie has responded to Julius Malema. Uh, so now it's there's this that is happening. Before you can understand what Gaten McKenzie said, you need to understand what Julius Malema said first. So I'm going to give you both of their reaction to each other's speech. But before I can do that, I want you to take a look at what Malema said here. The GNU will not last long. I give it a year. If it goes beyond a year, it will be two years because after the ANC conference, it will collapse. Remember, the DA said we are prepared to work with the ANC of Cyril Ramaphosa. So the ANC conference is going to remove Sir Ramaphosa, whether he likes it or not, it's his second time. He's not coming back. So the most likelihood, if they survive a year, after the ANC conference, they will not succeed because like province of Houthi, look at it. It has completely rejected the DA and went on to constitute government without the DA. And we're going to make sure that that government of Houting works. We're going to support it because not to support the government of Houting is to support the DA. So if the Houting government fails, then the doomsayers are going to say, you see, if you don't work with the DA, you're going to fail. So we need, we're not in an alliance with them. We're not voting for them for anything. We're going to vote for their budget for whatever is required from us in order to defeat the DA and demonstrate to the national leadership that you could have done the same. You don't need the DA for you to survive with the numbers you have. As long as you put progressive proposals on the table, you can still govern without having 50 plus one because no one won elections. No one said we must work together. The story that the electorate said we must work together, it's a fiction. Someone just created it. They, they did not vote for anyone. So if no one is voted for, it means from time to time, we must consult one another and get consensus from amongst the parties that are voted into power. The ANC uh, missed that opportunity and went into bed with murderers who are still to account for the killing so far, people. Uh, okay, okay, okay. We will go through. We will go to uh, Gaten McKenzie. Julius Malema said it very clear that this JNU is not going to last. People are saying it's going to last, but cracks are already there. He has a perfect example. It has been said that the person who exposed. The, tre- like the 300 million that was lost in the Department of Infrastructure and what what. It is uh, the deputy being Uzigalala from the ANC. But DA took credit of that. Even in their debate speech today in Parliament, they used that as, a, it, as something that was done by them. So we saw DA taking credit to things that, some of the things that they never they never achieved. So when they say that the, 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 the GNU is going to crack, it is simply because ANC believes in uh, minimum wage. DA doesn't believe in that. Not long ago, ANC brought what we call it a proposal of a land expropriation without compensation. Guess what? DA rejected that. The problem with the problem is when you when you go in bed with your enemy, that's what you what you reap. So, in other words, they are reaping what they sow. 
You can't go in bed with your enemy. You can't. It's the last thing to do. You cannot go in bed with your enemy. But the, but the ANC did it. And now they are reaping the consequences of that. So how long will this marriage last based on the evidence produced or provided before you? It's a question I ask with an local, I, look, I'm, I'm anticipating you to answer me. I'm also anticipating uh, you to do this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people, because to subscribe it is free, to like the video it is free, to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge, to click the notification bell it is free of charge, to share this video it is free of charge, to watch this video until the end it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean come on, to watch the ads it's free of charge and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the super thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed i'm gonna i'm gonna have to allow you to watch who gate in mckenzie so just give me a few minutes so we're gonna be talking about two videos about gate and mckenzie responding to julius malema in both of those two videos. We have already seen the one of Julius Malema. Now we need to see the one of O, the one from O, Gaten McKenzie. So I'm going to have to play both of them. But I'm going to play one and then leave a space and then bring the other one. What I want you to do is to listen very attentively and tell me if, and tell me your thought between these two videos. Do you think? Gaten McKenzie is telling the truth or not. Take a look at what Gaten McKenzie said. Here. South Africa is gonna gonna have the best five years. They say the G news is not gonna last. I saw the EFF say the G news is not gonna last. Can we really take them serious? Were well, they not the same ones that said they are a government in waiting? What waiting? We are still waiting for them to come into government. I've even overtaken them. I'm a minister today. Because let me tell you something. The voters have told us get together, build this country. We will not give one particular party all the power. You must share the power and find a way to work together. And that's what we are doing. We are building the country. We are leaving our differences behind. Do you think I, I don't have differences with the Democratic Alliance? I've got lots of differences, but for the sake of the country. I've got differences with the ANC, but for the sake of the country. They've got differences with me, but for the sake of the country, we must hold hands. People are out there, they are hungry, they are poor, they are destitute, they are unemployed. The time has come for us to take the bull by the horns. And I'm glad that I'm in the executive, because I'm one person, I'm results driven. And South Africa is in for a treat. Money buys are my second. Oh yes, uh, now that we are done with the first part of things, we're going to go to the second part of things. Having spoken about the first part of things, or oh, having seen the first part of things, we also need to deal with it accordingly. Now, please note the word accordingly. The key word there is accordingly. I, I am a Christian. So I once read a verse that says, can two people walk together except they agree. I, I want to show you this thing. I want to I'm a Christian. So now, as a Christian, you you read certain things and you're like, hmm, okay, okay, okay. So let me let me show you something. Before we go back to the last video, ga, ga, where, where is this? Yes, I find it. It's Amos 3, verse 3. Listen to this one. It says, can two walk together except they agree? Well, can you have a relationship with the GN, in the GNU except they agree on policies? It's a question of the day. But Gaten McKenzie continued to say this. The EFF said they are the government in waiting for five years. They've been telling us they are government in waiting. They are still waiting. I'm even a minister today. 
So the EFF is not the indicator of what's going to happen in the future. The EFF wish this GNU is going to last. This GNU is going to last. We are going to work. We're going to build South Africa. We can't take the EFF serious now talking about uh, the GNU. How do they know the GNU is not going to last? They didn't outside. They don't know how we smile inside. They don't know how we deal with our issues inside. Okay, okay. Do you think... I'll give a practical example about it. <clears throat> Here's the thing. Uh, you saying your predecessor is corrupt. You insinuate that your predecessor is corrupt. This, that is Gaten McKenzie. He did not say it outrightly, but he insinuate that the department he's heading that was full of corruption. That is your... That is your... What is this thing? That is your Zizigoto, right? So... The question or the key question there that you have to ask is, how is Zizigoto feeling right now? Hearing that uh, names are being given on the public, uh, the insinuating insinuation that is corrupt, and, you know, that is coming from his suc successor, which is Gaten McKenzie. Don't you think that such things might create um might create what we call it animosity between this this the this uh, parties there which might lead to the collapse of the very GNU I've already spoken about the issue of a uh Oguti one person suggested or uh, came with a proposal of a land without expropriation sorry from the ANC sorry guys um there's one person who came up with that, but the very same DA rejected that. On which basis? Because it's not speaking to DA's policies. Going back to the question, can two people work together except they agree? The question is, I don't think that is possible. So, do you think that there are few, is there a prospect of the GNU is not a success, whatever you want to call it. Do you see it as a success? Do you think it's going to be successful? Well, I'll tell you this. I don't doubt that there's going to be a tremendous success that coming out of a GNU. Abel Kronewald believes in something else. DA believes in something else. ANC believes in something else. Diamondtrolley opposed ideas blended together without first facing the, the local the, the, the tough questions and that is why are we not seeing eye to eye but who am i let me leave it here